When I first met Ford, he looked like this. His hand blistered and bruised, bitten by a copperhead snake just days before. Luckily for JC, she should be off the crutches within the next few days, although the doctor has said that there could be swelling for several months ahead. Sutherland Fisher's parents rushed her here to Tanner Medical Center. Her mom feared her little girl would not make it. I walked into the garage and I was taking my shoes off and I realized that was a snake. I thought it was a copperhead. First it was burning and then it felt like something was like kind of nibbling my foot off. It hurt a lot, 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 lot. Where her foot was already completely swollen. She let out this scream that I had never heard her scream before. Copperheads are medium-sized snakes, typically ranging from 20 to 37 inches in length. They are named for their distinctive copper-colored heads. They have a tan to light brown body with darker, hourglass-shaped crossbands that run along their back. These bands can vary in color, sometimes appearing more reddish or darker brown. The head is distinctively triangular, wider than the neck, and often has a darker pattern resembling a V or an hourglass. Their scales are keeled, meaning each scale has a raised ridge, giving their skin a rough texture. They have vertical pupils similar to those of a cat, which is a common characteristic of venomous snakes. Copperheads are masters of camouflage, blending into leaf litter and forest floor debris, making them difficult to spot. They are primarily nocturnal, or crepuscular in other words active during twilight hours during the warmer months but may be active during the day in cooler weather. Copperheads generally rely on their camouflage to avoid detection and will usually remain still when encountered. They may vibrate their tails rapidly when threatened. They are not typically aggressive and will bite only if they feel threatened or provoked. However, they will strike readily if they perceive a threat. During winter, Copperheads hibernate in rock crevices, underground burrows, or other sheltered locations. Copperheads possess hematoxic venom, which affects the blood and surrounding tissues. The venom is relatively mild compared to other North American pit vipers, such as rattlesnakes. However, it can still cause significant pain and medical complications. Bites can result in intense pain, swelling, bruising, and in severe cases, tissue damage. While their bites are rarely fatal to humans, they can be very painful and require medical attention. Copperheads are native to North America and are found across a broad range extending from the northeastern United States, for example Massachusetts, New York down to Florida, and westward to Texas, Nebraska, and Illinois. They favor deciduous forests and mixed woodlands but can also be found in rocky areas, swamps, and near water bodies. They are adaptable and can live in suburban areas where suitable habitats are available. Copperheads are ovoviviparous, meaning they give birth to live young rather than laying eggs. Mating typically occurs in the spring and sometimes in late summer. The gestation period is about three to nine months, depending on environmental conditions. Female copperheads give birth to between three and 14 young in late summer or early fall. The young are born fully developed and independent, ready to fend for themselves from birth. Copperheads play a crucial role in controlling the populations of small mammals, birds, amphibians, and insects. This helps maintain the ecological balance by controlling the population of these species. They are preyed upon by larger predators, including birds of prey, larger mammals, and even other snakes, contributing to the food web. As part of the ecosystem, copperheads can serve as indicators of environmental health. Their presence suggests a healthy and balanced ecosystem with ample prey and proper habitat conditions. Copperheads are not currently considered endangered. However, they face threats from habitat loss, persecution by humans, and road mortality. Misunderstanding and fear often lead to unnecessary killing of copperheads. Educating the public about their ecological role and how to safely coexist with them is essential for their conservation. Copperheads, despite their sometimes fearsome reputation, are an integral part of the ecosystems they inhabit. By understanding their characteristics and behavior, humans can better coexist with these fascinating reptiles. Last year, three young children's encounters with copperhead snakes highlighted crucial lessons in safety and vigilance. These incidents underscore the importance of awareness and quick action. 1. From Bite to Bright a young boy's journey of resilience and education. At a serene lake house like this, a young boy's love for nature took an unexpected turn. When a news reporter from 11 Alive News first met Ford, 
His hand bore the painful marks of a copperhead snake bite. In late May, seven-year-old Ford O'Neill was bitten by a copperhead at his grandparents' lake house. The bite was so severe that he was airlifted to the hospital and nearly lost his finger. Ford's recovery was remarkable, but the experience left a lasting impact. Instead of succumbing to fear, Ford transformed his ordeal into a mission to educate other children about snakes. Ford, already a reptile enthusiast, started a web series called What in the World? With his sister, together, they aimed to demystify snakes and teach kids how to safely interact with them. Teaming up with those reptile guys, their pilot's episode is now live on YouTube and Facebook, reaching children everywhere. Is it true that snakes are more scared of me than um, I'm scared of them? Ford's story imparts several valuable lessons. First, resilience in adversity. Ford faced a frightening experience, I thought it was a copperhead. but turned it into an opportunity to educate and inspire. Second, the importance of transforming negative experiences into positive outcomes. Ford's web series is a testament to how we can turn our struggles into meaningful actions. The third lesson is that education and awareness is crucial. Knowing more about potentially dangerous animals reduces fear and promotes safety. Four, harnessing passion for a cause is powerful. Ford's love for reptiles, despite his traumatic encounter, shows how passion can drive impactful projects. Five, the role of community and support is vital. Ford's collaboration with his sister and others highlights the power of teamwork. The sixth lesson is that understanding and compassion can follow even fearful experiences. Educating others helps to build empathy and reduce irrational fears. Finally, innovation and creativity in problem solving. Ford's unique approach to addressing his fear showcases how creative solutions can lead to positive change. Ford O'Neill's story is a shining example of how adversity can be turned into an opportunity for learning and growth. Ford got bit by a copperhead. He's seven years old, but he still loves snakes. 2. Jayshu's Copperhead Encounter – Vital Lessons in Snake Bite Prevention In a quiet neighborhood, a young girl's encounter with a snake brought valuable lessons in vigilance and safety. As reported by ABC 11 News Desk last year, nine-year-old Jay-Z Marks was excited to watch the sunset with her dad. But as they stepped into the garage, an unexpected danger awaited. I walked into the garage, and I was taking my shoes off. She suddenly felt a sharp sting on her foot, as if struck by a stick. Looking down, she realized it was a copperhead snake. And I realized that was a snake. Jay-Z immediately called for help, her dad quickly rushing to her side. Local hospitals reported a surge in snake bites, with UNC Health, Duke Health, and Wake Med all treating a significant number of copperhead bite victims that summer. Dr. Ben German, an ER expert on snake bites, attributed the increase to urban expansion into natural habitats and unusually hot weather. Thanks to her prompt response, Jay-Z began her recovery journey, with doctors optimistic about her swift return to normal activities, though they cautioned about potential long-term swelling. Jay-Z's experience teaches us several key lessons on avoiding snake bites. Firstly, Always be aware of your surroundings, especially in areas where snakes might be hiding. Jayshu's story highlights the importance of vigilance. Secondly, wearing proper footwear is crucial. Dr. German's advice about leather shoes shows how simple precautions can make a big difference. A good leather shoe will, will stop the snake's fangs from, from getting into your tissue and injecting venom. Thirdly, be extra cautious in areas where natural habitats meet residential developments. Snakes may be more active in these regions. The fourth lesson is that extreme weather can increase snake activity. Awareness of weather impacts can help you stay safe. Also, prompt response is essential in case of a bite. Jayshi's immediate action to seek help was crucial. It was definitely really scary. She came in and she goes, I just got bit by a copperhead. In addition, educate yourself about the snakes in your area. Knowledge of their habits and habitats can help you avoid risky situations. Jayshi's encounter with a copperhead snake serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of safety and preparedness. Remember, a few simple steps can help keep you and your loved ones safe. Courtesy of ABC 11 News, 
May Jaishi's story be your story of caution and resilience. 3. Sutherland's Copperhead Encounter Crucial Lessons in Snake Bite Safety. Sutherland Fisher's parents rushed her here to Tanner Medical Center. Her mom feared her little girl would not make it. Last year, in a quiet neighborhood near Lake Moody, a young girl's encounter with a copperhead snake brought vital lessons in vigilance and safety. Eight-year-old Sutherland Fisher was enjoying an afternoon in the woods with her family when she suddenly felt a sharp, excruciating pain. I was outside with my dad and my brother and some of my dogs. I was exploring the woods with my brother. I was on these rocks and I was going down and then something bit my foot. Sutherland's nine-year-old brother carried her back to the house. First it was burning and then it felt like something was like kind of nibbling my foot off. It hurt a lot, a lot, a lot. Her mother, Wendy, noticed the fang marks and remained calm until Sutherland let out a blood-curdling cry. Where her foot was already completely swollen. She let out this scream that I had never heard her scream before. Fearing for her life, Sutherland's parents rushed her to tend a medical center. She just kept saying that she didn't want to die, that it hurt. I was scared. I was scared that it was going to be a, it was going to end bad. It was very scary. Wendy, a 911 dispatcher, feared the worst as doctors confirmed that a copperhead snake had bitten her daughter. Copperheads are pretty common. They're either barefoot or wearing sandals or perhaps they're gardening and they have their bare hands and they're sticking in places where they can't see. Daniel Sullenberger, a senior wildlife biologist, explained that there are more copperheads in Georgia than people realize, and they often bite when disturbed in their hiding spots. I'm leaving my toes now, and I'm just so glad that all these people in this world are praying for me to get better, and that I'm getting better already. The hospital treated Sutherland with antivenom, and her mother, Wendy, was relieved to hear that she would recover, though swelling might persist for some time. Sutherland's experience teaches us several crucial lessons on how to avoid snake bites. First, always be aware of your surroundings, especially in areas where snakes are likely to hide, like woods or rocky areas. Sutherland's story highlights the need for vigilance. Two, avoid getting too close to potential snake habitats. Copperheads are known to bite when people invade their space. Three, educate yourself and your family about local wildlife. Knowing which snakes are common in your area can help you avoid dangerous encounters. 4. Supervise children carefully when they are in outdoor areas, particularly where snakes may be present. 5. Seek immediate medical attention if bitten by a snake. Wendy's quick decision to take Sutherland to the hospital for antivenom treatment was crucial. 6. Recognize the signs of a snake bite, such as fang marks and sudden pain act quickly and effectively. 7. Stay calm and act fast. Wendy's ability to manage the situation under pressure helped ensure her daughter received the necessary care. 8. Wear protective clothing when in snake-prone areas. Sturdy boots and long pants can reduce the risk of snake bites. Sutherland Fisher's encounter with a copperhead snake serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of awareness, education, and prompt action. Kudos to Christopher King and team, and courtesy of Fox 5 News, for reminding us that a few simple steps can help keep us and our loved ones safe. In Villa Rica, Christopher King, Fox 5 News.